Hey guys, what's up? I hope you're having a fantastic day and welcome to all of my new subscribers. Thanks to all of you, I've reached well over 1,000 subscribers. I hope to continue to make great content for you and I hope you guys continue to enjoy it. So thank you. I truly do mean that from the bottom of my heart. If you're new to the channel, hit the like button. If you're not new to the channel, hit the like button. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to set up third-party controllers for the Citra emulator. This is useful when you don't have any controllers that are compatible with your PC and you have old controllers lying around and you can't use them because they don't connect to the PC. But today is your lucky day because I'm going to show you how to do that. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Okay, as you can see here, I have a very old first party PlayStation 1 Dual Analog DualShock controller. And this controller is really old, not made for the PC, and you know, it still works. But it's lying around, not being used, and you may have one of these. Some people might have some of these as a collectible. This controller is very old, but it still works. It's very durable. And you know, the PlayStation controller is the best controller even today. So it holds its value and lineage, even if you're using an old controller. It doesn't matter as long as it works. So if you have something like this lying around, you want to use it, you can. Also, there are some other options like Dreamcast controllers or PlayStation 2 controllers, as you saw in the thumbnail. You can use those too. And I'll show you some options for those as well a little bit later on in the video but let's just say you want to use an old PlayStation 1 or PlayStation 2 controller or PlayStation lineage controller in general and it's one of the older model controllers that still has the cord for the connection you can't use it in this way because you know it has one of these things here and as you can see this this doesn't connect to any PC it doesn't and you will need a connector in order to solve this issue you can get something like this right here this will help you hook up any first gen or second gen playstation controller into your pc as you can see it has the playstation input and you can just plug your controller right into there like that and then you just hook it up into your computer. It's as simple as that. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Well, you guys should already know how to do that. You just hook this up into your USB port. But I'm gonna show you guys how to set this up on your PC for playing Citra emulator games or games in general while you're using this type of format because sometimes your PC may not necessarily recognize these type of controllers and you may have to set it up in order to recognize a controller of this old lineage so once again you'll need one of these which i'll leave left in the link in the description and you can go check it out for yourself but for now let's go ahead over to the pc get this hooked up let's get started on getting it working on your citra emulator so as you can see we've arrived here on to the desktop the only thing you need to do is start up your Citra emulator. Once you've started your Citra emulator, head over to the emulation tab, click configure, and check out your input settings. Now, as you can see here, this is where your controls are input into the game. You can test to see if your controller is working properly here. If so, your job is done. Just a quick plug and play. So, let's test here and see if my controller is working correctly. And as you can see, I got some responses from my controller. So this means that my computer is detecting my controller and recognizes it as a controller for the PC and can be used for the Citra emulator. 
but let's just say your computer is not recognizing your controller although you have bought the connector piece and you've inserted it into a USB port into your computer but your Citroen emulator or your computer is not able to recognize it if this is the case then there are ways to get your PC to recognize your controller as a legitimate source of function for video games etc on your PC the way you can do this is if you're not getting it to work with a quick and simple plug-and-play just like I did then you'll have to go through a few extra steps it's pretty simple just follow along here and you'll be just fine you'll be able to set it up in no time so if you're not getting any responses after you plugged in your controller into your USB converter then you'll have to click your search bar if you're using Windows 8 click on control s and then type in device in your search menu I apologize for that I meant hit Windows and S and then type in device then click on devices and printers once this window comes up you'll see some of the accessories and things you have plugged up into your computer everything you'll be able to access here that you have currently plugged in or hooked up but right now we're interested in the controller so if your controller is not being recognized by your PC you can go here and check to see if it even notices that you have a controller hooked up and as you can see for me it does here I have the twin USB controller and this is what I'm using as a connector for my PlayStation 1 DualShock analog controller so your controller is not working and you see your controller here you want to try to do a few things to try to troubleshoot this problem and get your controller working which should work the only thing you need to do is right click on whatever controller that you see here in this box that you're currently using if you don't see a controller here make sure you plugged in everything correctly and make sure that it's inserted into a USB port if you still don't see anything here then you may have to replace your device because it's definitely not recognizing it at all so anyway if you see a controller here you're going to right click on it and then click game controller setting from here you'll get a little window indicating the controllers that are currently being used on your platform what you want to do is you want to hit properties so you can test your controller first once you're here you can test controller test it out see if it's working as you can see the controller is working just fine for me you see everything all the buttons are working you can test it here make sure everything is working just fine and if it is you're pretty much done here you can just hit ok or close this window out because now you've confirmed that your controller is working correctly but it's just not being read so there is one way to fix this if your controller is not being read once you exit that window click on advanced and then select the controller that you're currently using as the main default controller once you do that if it's set up like this and has two just try both of them see which one the controller is hooked up in and then this should work this process will make any controller that you're using on your PC the main controller making it the default controller for your PC to recognize once you've selected it hit OK after you've done this process you're pretty much done the only thing you have to do is reopen your Citroen emulator and test it out and as you can see it's working just fine as if you were using an Xbox 360 controller now I do want to add a few other options to the video before I end it here if you're using a PlayStation or PlayStation 2 controller within the PlayStation genre before they cut the cord you will need to buy one of these devices here as you can find it on Amazon this is a PS2 to PC connector and if you have something like a Dreamcast controller you'll need something like this you can also buy it here on Amazon.com and there's also Super Nintendo controllers that already have USBs on them that also work but they don't have any analogs to them but that's okay too if you're trying to look for a cheap controller and you like using Super Nintendo controllers these are some options for you 
All the links for these controller converters will be left down in the links in the description. Well anyways, that pretty much wraps things up for this video. I hope it was helpful to you guys. If you have any questions, make sure to leave your comments down in the comment section below. I want to know if this worked for you, if this helped. Anyways, leave those comments. Also, make sure to hit that like button and share this with your friends. And also, I wanted to add that if you're watching this video after watching the main Citra emulator video that I made about a month ago, I did mention that I was going to create this video because I promised that I would for people who are using third party controllers, but I'm really not doing any more Citra stuff right now for the time being. But if the demand calls for it, I will begin creating more Citra emulator videos tutorials for you guys so if you guys would like me to continue creating Citra emulator video tutorials make sure to hit the like button it'll let me know if you guys want me to continue making Citra emulator videos and push them out to you guys because you guys really seem to enjoy them and I like creating them too but I don't want the main focus of the channel to be just Citra emulator I want to move on to new stuff and I'm trying to do that so just let me know down in the comments guys or just hit the like button so that way I will know to in the future continue to make Citra emulator videos for you guys now if I do get the like response then I'm not saying that I'll continue creating them right away but I will keep in mind that you guys enjoy them and that you guys find them useful and I will consider creating them more in the future because I'm pretty much done with Citra emulator videos. Well, anyways, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope that this helps solve any problems or issues that you may be having with using third party controllers on your PC for the Citra emulator. Okay, guys, take care. See you guys next time. Peace. Hey, guys, it's me, K7. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like and hit the notification bell for more videos like these. Okay guys, I'll see you guys next time. Later.